the mortgage broker may be dying a death of a thousand cuts. Wells Fargo, the 800 pound gorilla of a wholesale lender has decided to stop allowing mortgage brokers to sell their loans. Yeah, and this looks to be more fallout from the infamous Dodd-Frank bill as Wells Fargo has now followed suit with Bank of America, ING, MetLife, and GMAC to eliminate broker channels to obtain mortgages. So Ben, how will this affect the mortgage industry as a whole? Well, you're about to find out. I'm Ben Brashen. And I'm Ryan Leopold, and welcome back to Mortgage Resource TV. Well, Ryan, after discussing buybacks and other reasons early in other episodes and why it's so hard to get mortgages done these days, the other shoe seems to have potentially dropped as Wells Fargo has now decided they will no longer allow mortgage brokers to sell their loans. This is huge news because Wells Fargo actually has 30% of the mortgage market share and this puts small mortgage companies at extreme risk of having very small amounts of banks to sell their mortgages to. Yeah, and that really means less choices and competition for brokers, and borrowers, more importantly, who are buying and refinancing their house. Yeah, brokers used to be able to effectively shop for loans for our clients because we can see all the banks' rates at the same time. Yeah, you know, but as you can imagine, the less banks that use brokers to sell loans means the less rates that brokers will have to shop for. Now here's a double-edged sword. If you're looking to buy or refinance, this means that other small banks that are not named Wells Fargo or Bank of America are gonna have to start picking up the slack. So if you thought it's been taking a long time to get a loan over the last few months, and most people do, then here comes another thing. That's right, Ben. Things are gonna take longer and it's gonna be harder to close a loan on time and under budget. Yeah, the good news is there are a few ways that you can take the stress out of getting a loan and, and still close on time. First off, you're gonna to wanna to work with a banker rather than a broker. That's us. Yeah, you know, see, we're actually in a good spot right now because, well, as mortgage bankers, we keep all the files within our walls, right? So this is where they get underwritten, the docs get drawn, they get funded. And what that does is helps us maintain some level of service that you're accustomed to. The second tip is really a question you need to be asking someone you wanna get a loan from. And that is, how long is it currently taking to close a loan and what's the cost? Yeah, and, and what happens if your lock expires? Because there's a huge problem right now. Because now with loans taking longer, locks expire, and then borrowers are all of a sudden having these unexpected fees and extension charges. And this is only going to get worse with the exit of Wells Fargo from the broker world. Yeah, that's right, Ben. With the closing of a broker that controls 30% of the business, in order to close your loan on time without additional fees, we highly recommend finding a banker who can do everything in-house and still deliver great rates. Yeah, and that's pretty much what it's gonna take. I mean, as people get busier, with smaller banks being the only banks that are gonna service these brokers, you're gonna need to find the people who can close your loan on time. Thanks so much for watching Mortgage Resource TV, and we'll catch you next time. The mortgage broker may be dying a death of a thousand cuts. The whole, what? Okay. <clears throat> Go ahead. What did I do? Nothing, I did this for no reason. <laughs>